Welcome to Space News from the Electric Universe, brought to you by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. On this series, Space News from the Electric Universe, for nearly three years, we have reported on dozens of recent discoveries that challenge the very foundations of modern cosmology and astrophysics. Today we routinely hear of celestial objects ranging in scale from stars, galaxies, and quasar groups that should not exist if the standard astrophysical models are correct. Yet it seems that these discoveries, no matter how baffling or unexpected, rarely seem to force any real reassessment of the foundations of popular theory. And all of these theories arose from a basic underlying principle of an electrically sterile and disconnected universe. Today we examine the theoretical core of modern astrophysics and cosmology. Our guest is physicist Eugene Bagashoff, whose research is in theoretical physics and who currently works at the Joint Institute for Power and Nuclear Research, Solzny. Eugene is scheduled to speak at the forthcoming conference, EU 2015, Paths of Discovery, taking place June 25th to 29th in Phoenix, Arizona. Today, Eugene offers a brief introduction and preview of his talk where he will explain that the observed movements in the universe cannot be created with a gravitational force alone. The currently adopted doctrine in astrophysics and cosmology is based on the hypothesis of charge neutrality of cosmic objects. This means that there could be no major electromagnetic forces that could be sufficiently important in the observed cosmic processes. The only force that is considered to be substantial is gravity, Yet such an approach, if we try to apply it to describe the real observational data, produces a number of artifacts, such as dark energy or dark matter. It is very important that to this day we don't have any adequate description of the nature of the dark energy nor of any of the hypothesized dark matter particles. These two substances are as artificial and unnatural, so to speak, as were those transparent crystal spheres that our ancestors perceived in the sky with the stars and planets being bound to them. They were the artifacts of the geocentric model of the world, just like dark matter and dark energy are the artifacts of the gra gravitational-centered paradigm of modern-day astrophysics and cosmology, which completely ignores other possible explanations for the observed data. Yet if we change the charge neutrality hypothesis to the hypothesis of a significant charge separation on large scales, what would mean that the objects in the universe, like stars and galaxies, all possess at least some electric charge and thus can interact electromagnetically, then the need for those dark artifacts completely disappears. The field of possible explanations for various astrophysical and cosmological processes widens substantially under this new fixed hypothesis. Firstly, the movement of charged particles creates cosmic magnetic fields, which we actually observe a lot in space. Various objects have magnetic fields, from planets and nebulae to the galaxies and galactic clusters and superclusters. Secondly, the assumption about electric fields in space allows us to explain various complex astrophysical effects, like the acceleration of the solar wind or sunspot formation with the magnetic fields associated with sunspots. It also accounts for the observed lensing, which is called the gravitational lensing under the current paradigm. Since the electric field can actually change the refractive index of matter, for example, due to the complex nonlinear effects such as the Pockels effect or Kerr effect, so in principle, the lensing could be caused just by the cosmic plasma with the associated electromagnetic fields. Thirdly, the hypothesis of stars having the electric charge can help explaining the galactic rotation curves. The problem is, of course, that the velocities of stars at large distances from the centers of galaxies are simply too big for only gravity to hold these stars at such distance with this amount of centrifugal force. That's why they've needed to invent the dark matter, which provides extra gravity, but it might as well be the electromagnetism instead. Besides, the assumption of non-zero net electric charge of cosmic objects helps to develop a new mechanism for the formation of these objects, and the universe that arises due to this mechanism is fractal. The stars could be ejected out of the galactic cores and could be placed in their or orbits with the help of the electromagnetic forces, namely the Lorentz force. Uh, and this would be the main subject of my talk at the EU conference in June. 
then these stars eject the planets out of themselves, and these planets are also placed into orbits with the electromagnetism and the Lorentz force. And then these planets eject their satellites and place them into orbits. So we really acquire this fractal picture of the universe. The galaxies themselves, of course, could be also expelled in such a way out of the centers of galactic clusters in the first place. This theory really is quite elegant and could provide an unexpectedly simple answers to a series of difficult questions. For example, why are the giant planets rotating so fast in our solar system? And I'll try to show it at the conference also. We can explain the creation of the universe only if we observe the work of the both hands of the creator, so to speak, the gravity and electromagnetism. Now, I'm not a religious person, so the creator is just a metaphor. And this would be the bottom line of my talk, really. If you think of it, the electromagnetism seems to be the best and probably the only candidate for the role of a force that can deliver the orthogonal movement to the matter. Since the gravity acts in a straight line and the electromagnetism has its left-hand rule for forces and right-hand rule for magnetic fields, thus providing us the orthogonality, so to speak, which ultimately results in rotational motion, which is so frequently observed throughout the universe. For continuous updates on space news from the Electric Universe, stay tuned to thunderbolts.info.